As I mentioned, the shells themselves can be divert, divided into orbitals, each of which contains two electrons. Orbitals are characterized by a shape uh, that's produced when the region surrounding the nucleus is plotted, in which it's typically regarded that a 95% chance exists of finding the electrons. The orbital shapes that we will come across are S, P, D, and F. And we're mostly going to focus on S, P, and D orbitals. The analogy to use is that each shell unlocks, if you like, an additional orbital type. So in other words, for the first shell, you can only get the S-type orbital. For the second shell, you can get the S and the P-type orbitals. And for the third shell, you can get S, P, and D. And for the fourth, it's possible to have access to all four. Bearing in mind, each individual orbital can only contain two electrons. And we'll talk about this in more depth a little later. The orbital quantum numbers are given for S orbitals as 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the nomenclature in quantum mechanics, where n was for principal quantum number, is that the orbital quantum number carries the letter L. So, as we will see, it's possible to actually assign the specific uh, designation of an electron just using quantum numbers. The simplest orbital, as you can see here, is where L, or the orbital quantum number, is equal to zero, and it is spherical. Here you can see uh, three particular types uh, or shells of orbital, the 1s, the 2s, and the 3s. Each of these is spherical, but as you can see, each of these is of a different size. As, of course, we move further away from the nucleus, of course, the electrons themselves, or the probability of finding them, is also more distant from the nucleus. Also bear in mind it's spherical, and so the x, y, and z axes there demonstrate the three-dimensionality of this species, and the fact that there is a 95% probability of finding electrons within this region. Note, of course, that if you go back to the basic quantum mechanics, uh, the theoretical chance of finding an electron in the nucleus is, of course, zero. So, going from left to right, 1s is a s orbital, which is a spherical orbital, um, which actually stands for sharp rather than spherical, which is rather counterintuitive. The 2s is an s orbital in shell 2, and the 3s is an s orbital in shell 3. And each of these, the 1s, the 2s, and the 3s, can formally contain two electrons. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.